Is a Royal Caribbean drink package worth it? Today, I'm going to go through the pros and cons of getting one up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Perhaps no additional add-on to your cruise experience has been more popular than Royal Caribbean's unlimited alcohol and drink packages. The unlimited drink packages have been available for a few years, and they're quite popular with guests who are intrigued by the idea of having most of their beverages included rather than having to pay for every drink. And the best part is there's a fixed cost to it. The beverage package promises convenience and that fixed cost to ensure one less worry, in, especially in terms of your budget. But the common question people want to know is whether or not they're really worth the cost or not. Of course, the answer depends on you and your family. But today, I wanted to break down some of the pros and cons that you should know about to decide if a drink package is worth it. So let's start off with the pros. Number one, you can drink as much as you want. By far the best advantage of any drink package is you get to enjoy as many drinks that are included with the package with no limit. When people pay for drinks individually, often the cost of running up a large bill enters into their minds, but drink packages assuage that concern. Royal Caribbean beverage packages have no daily limit, so you can enjoy as much or as little as you want every day of the cruise. The deluxe beverage package and the Royal Refreshment package also offer a good variety of beverages that are included with the packages, which means added opportunity to mix up the sort of drinks that can be enjoyed. So it's not just beer or wine, it's beer, wine, alcohol, premium coffees, premium teas, bottled water, all of that included, so you can go in any direction you want, but the bottom line is there is no limit with that. One of the best reasons to get a drink package is that you can enjoy all the drinks available, including some of the newer ones. You can order something and not be worried you might not like it or have to quote unquote suffer through it simply because you paid for the drink. The next pro for getting the drink package is you can use it almost anywhere on board and on shore. Royal Caribbean drink packages work pretty much everywhere on board the ship and even in Royal Caribbean's private destinations of Coco Key and Labadee. This means whether you're in the dining room, hanging by the pool, or at a specialty restaurant, you can enjoy the drink package benefits at any time. Now, there are a few exceptions to when you can use the drink packages, such as at Starbucks kiosks, room service, or the mini bar, but most guests seem to find plenty of opportunity to take advantage of the benefits. The convenience of being able to get a drink virtually anywhere on your Royal Caribbean cruise means being able to enjoy a refreshment anytime you want it. Another great advantage of the drink package is you can control costs. By purchasing a drink package, you are capping the maximum cost for drinks during your cruise. Most families like to be able to budget their vacations and not come home to a monster bill or a runaway bill. The drink package is an easy way to ensure that your CPAS account doesn't get out of hand. Additionally, guests that pre-purchase the drink package prior to the cruise can take advantage of discounts and the opportunity to break up the total cost of the cruise. Royal Caribbean charges you for the drink package at the time of purchase when booked before the cruise. That means that you could potentially pay off parts of the cruise experience on different billing cycles. If you drink enough every day of your cruise, a Royal Caribbean drink package can definitely save you money. With the ever-increasing cost of drinks, many people have found that the drink package should be a really good value. Those that enjoy cocktails will find drinks priced regularly between $10 and $13, which makes a drink package investment much easier to quote-unquote break even. Another nice benefit of the drink package is you get a souvenir cup. All unlimited drink packages come with a souvenir Coca-Cola freestyle machine cup that not only provides an easy way to get refills, but it can be taken home with you as a souvenir from that cruise. Souvenirs are rarely cheap, and having a good-sized mug back home will provide another reminder of the vacation fun and potentially a new favorite cup at work or home. Since the souvenir cups come with the drink package, there's no added cost to get one, and the current mugs feature fun Royal Caribbean-inspired designs that are sure to put a smile on your face every time you pull it out of the cabinet. All right, those are the pros, the good reasons to get a drink package. Let's talk about the cons. Number one, you might find yourself drinking for the sake of drinking. It is not uncommon to discover that when you have a drink package, you start getting drinks because you have the package and not because you necessarily really, really want one. Certainly, on the first couple days of a cruise, the opportunity to enjoy plenty of cocktails is novel, but there might be a point where you're ordering drinks simply as a means of getting your drink package investment back. The principal reason to purchase a drink package is that it's going to save you money over purchasing the same amount of drinks individually. Royal Caribbean provides a value proposition to the equation with the drink packages, but oftentimes a lot of Royal Caribbean cruisers report back that they find themselves having a drink just because they have to in order to quote unquote break even. Anybody can drink five to seven drinks in one day, but five to seven drinks every day of a cruise, like for a seven night cruise or even longer, could possibly get old. Another disadvantage to the drink package is there's a large upfront cost. Royal Caribbean's drink packages are priced per person and per day. 
So the longer your cruise, the more you'll have to pay in advance for the drink package. Depending on the length of your cruise and the amount of people that you want to get a drink package, that could be a lot of money to shell out. Theoretically, you'll recoup that value over the course of the cruise vacation, but there is a risk of that not happening. And moreover, a big charge on your credit card to start things off even before you get on board the ship. Pre-purchasing the drink packages before your cruise can help take this thing out a little bit since they're charged at the time of purchase, but spending $400 or more for an unlimited alcohol package per person on a seven-night cruise is never an easy credit card bill to swallow. In addition, we should also mention another disadvantage of the drink packages. You still need to pay for drinks when you're on land. Royal Caribbean cruises will bring you some amazing ports of calls, but your drink packages will not work there. Outside of Labadee or Coco Key, your drink package benefits stop, which means when you're visiting places like Cozumel or Barcelona or St. Martin, these are countries you're going to have to pay extra for for drinks while you're on land. Let me be clear. These drink packages still work while the ship is docked and you're on board. But when you step off and you go on a shore excursion or you go off on your own, obviously the drinks you consume there are going to be out of pocket. Moreover, a lot of times drinks are often cheaper to purchase while on shore than on a Royal Caribbean cruise. This is especially true of the Caribbean, not so much the case in Europe. Some people prefer to drink very little on board and then spend their money on drinks while on shore. Certainly, the itinerary you're on may dictate how practical this idea is, but drinking on land might be able to satisfy your drinking needs without the cost of a drink package. And the last con to buying a drink package is loyal cruisers receive complimentary drinks. Believe it or not, Royal Caribbean does offer complimentary beverages on their cruise, including alcohol. Royal Caribbean includes quite a few non-alcoholic beverages with their cruise fare, like water and coffees and teas. And for members of Royal Caribbean's Crown and Anchor Society, they actually can get complimentary alcohol thanks to the Crown and Anchor Diamond Drinks for Diamond Diamond Plus and Pinnacle members. Now, these are complimentary drinks that are available every day of the cruise, and there's a certain amount that they can use. For a lot of people, they find the complimentary drinks here are more than they need, and buying a drink package would be overkill for them. But of course, it really does depend on, of course, how much you want to drink in a given day, but that is a consideration for other people that are there. So is it worth it to get a drink package? Well, overall, whether or not a drink package makes sense for you is a highly personal decision based on a lot of variables. So depending on your priorities, the decision will greatly sway in one direction or another. Drink packages absolutely can save anybody money and time, but it depends on the person and it would be misleading for me to recommend it just about anybody. The good news is discounts on drink packages bring down the cost and purchase before sailing begins and the money off is enough to push some folks over the fence to make it a worthwhile investment. In fact, anyone considering buying a drink package should absolutely purchase it before the cruise via the cruise planner website because it will be cheaper than trying to purchase it on board the ship. Keep in mind that if you're unsure about purchasing a drink package, you can always opt to buy the drink package after the cruise begins. Royal Caribbean will prorate the package based on the remaining days of the cruise, which means you have a couple days to see how much you really want to drink before deciding if the package is right for you. Keeping in mind, of course, any drinks you buy before you buy the package don't count towards your drink package costs. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts on whether or not you think a drink package on Royal Caribbean is worth it. Are you thinking about using it? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on which of these pros or cons really stand out for you. While you're down there, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your notifications. That's that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button that lets YouTube know you want to see new videos as soon as they come out. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.